can I go home? Almost. Anyway. We're almost done. Dave's very quiet now. <laughs> Behind you. Anyway, it is 6.30. I've been out here since 7.30 this morning. So we're going to do a fast video. That's right. We have two mods for the V series tractor. The 2601, actually. That's right. Uh, people have been asking for these two things, so they finally have arrived. That's right. We'll be producing them starting Monday. And uh, it is the newly designed Outrigger locks. Mm -hmm. With the V series and, and anything in the smaller Kubota tractors, e even in the bigger stuff, eventually they fade down, they fade down the oil in the Outriggers fade down the next thing they're into the side of your car or they're in the you, you forget that they're down and you drive it you take half your garage with you or and the door as we've yeah, heard that's right exactly so we developed this system here and, and this is what it consists of so you get your two bars that's right with uh, their own personalized stick okay. this one here will go on the cylinder that's right so when you're sitting in the seat you read that and you say oh yeah i got to remove the the locks before i can put down the edges it comes with some specially machined uh anchors i guess you would call it pins pins yeah and some springs so we'll go down to the bx and i'll show you exactly how it works you have to excuse the mess because we're under construction and we are so it, it, it's basically the same setup as this, just a smaller version. This is, That's right. and when you want to use it, you put them down like that, and you can use away. When you want to lock them for the night or for extended storage, you can put them on like that, and they won't come off. Perfect. It's a very simple thing to do. You, well, we'll give you a video on how to install it oh, yes. when you buy it. Absolutely. Right. And the other thing. Yes. So that's number one mod. That's right. Then the other thing is we've had people ask us about doing a just a minor adjustment to the exhaust system on these because the FEL gets full of soot when you start them up and use them for a while. So we we got our pipe bender out. And we got our oh, yeah. rhino worker out. Welder out. Welders out. And we came up with what. Well, it's all out. Yeah, and not only that, it's Dave approved. <laughs> yes. My buddy it. who's hiding away. <laughs> yeah, like, there's more sightings of Elvis than there is of Dave. Oh, yeah? So basically, this is what we have. Yes. What did I just do with the, oh, I got the bolt here, okay. So anyway, this is how it's gonna work. We'll grab one. We're gonna show you. You're gonna get it, if you can buy it. And uh, you're going to put it on over here, and you're going to put it on like that. Oh, that's sweet. And you're going to get your trusty little carriage bolt that's supplied with it. You're going to put it on like that, and you're going to put your nylon nut and washer on the inside here, and you're good to go. You won't need to clamp it or anything like that. Now, I know there's people out there going to say, you can't do that because it's too rigid and it's going to crack the exhaust and yada, yada, yada. <laughs> you know, so you guys can all go blow smoke somewhere else. Because if you look down here, the exhaust is already bolted to the body or to the frame of the, the tractor. Yeah, so the motor already thought of it. Yes, so it's, there's no harm done. These things aren't like a gas engine or a snowmobile engine. The engine don't rock in rubber mounts and stuff like, like, like that, right? No. So anyway, basically it's going to go past your FEL now and out through the side. Now, fellas might say, well, you should have curled it down more. Well, when you curl it down more, you got a tendency to generate a lot of dust from the exhaust. So now you just create, you try to fix one problem, create another. another. Yeah. So this is the lesser of all evils. Okay. Okay. By doing it that way. And uh, it's I a like nice, it. tidy little job. I, I personally like it. I do too. Uh, the exhaust is, is cut on the bottom so it yeah. kind of looks the part. I want to see an angle over here. Yeah. Yeah. It's right up is. high. You know? Yeah. It so, is. No you know. 
Jira tis in a campy no tizzer. No. As Bill that's... Shakespeare used to say. <laughs> uh, who's the, whose brother is that? Bill. Ralphie's brother? Ralphie's brother. Yeah. So, there it is. Like I say, you don't need to clamp it. It's, it's pretty tight. Comes off like that. Easy peasy. Yeah, so we have a very limited number. We do. And there they are. Yes. So first come, first serve. Yeah. If they sell good, we'll make more. If they don't sell good, you'll never see them again. That's right. And another thing is we combine shipping where we can. Yes, exactly. So, so. we'll do the same here in this case, exactly. I guess. Well, that's up to you. That's your department. Yeah. So if you've got your any problems done. with pricing or, or shipping, <laughs> yeah, nice. Go after her. <laughs> yeah. So, folks, that's it. It's Friday. Have a good weekend. Be good to each other. Look after yourselves. Don't take handicapped parking areas unless you're entitled to them and you have the permits to do so. For the people that's down in the states dealing with these hurricanes and stuff, you're in our prayers. Yes. And be careful. Don't take chances. It's not worth it. Uh, life is a very valuable and precious commodity. And we'll see you in the next video. So. Take care. God bless.